Well, hello, friends. We're looking at a tribal genealogy here now for a very different tribe than the others. This is the tribe of Levi. And this tribe, out of all of the tribes of Israel, this is the one that was dedicated to temple service. And there were different clans in the tribe of Levi, and each of them had their own responsibilities. And then within one clan, there's a subset of those who are the, the descendants of Aaron. And those are the priests that they have certain responsibilities and duties uh, and privileges that are for them as the priests. So not everyone in, in all of Israel was in the same sense a priest. No, there were these Levitical priests and not everyone was even a Levite. Um, so not all the Levites were priests and, and not all the children of Israel were Levites and everybody had their role. Now, one of the things that's distinct about this tribe of Levi is that uh, they did not have an inheritance in the same way that the other tribes had. So here, when we're reviewing their story in this format of looking at genealogies, uh, we're reminded, first of all, that Aaron and Moses and Miriam came from this tribe. This is a very important tribe that had these special spiritual duties allowing them to come near to God. There are, there are other names that are mentioned as well. One of them, Phineas, for instance, is, is important in the history of Israel during the days in the wilderness. And then you have these three clans, so the, the clan of Gershom, the, the clan of Kohath, the clan of Merari. Um, but what you have is during the whole time in the wilderness, there's a sense in which everybody understands what they're supposed to do. Because you're moving, you're moving, and, and each of these tribes has something to do with the movement of various objects as well as the use of these holy objects for the worship of God among the whole of the Israelites. But what happens when eventually... Uh, you settle into the land and you're no longer moving necessarily. See, what happens, especially in the days of David in terms of planning, but then in, in, in the days of Solomon, his son, actually building, you have a temple there made of, uh, of stone, wood, of precious uh, stones, of, of gold and so forth. What, what happens when you have that place where there's a central location. Everybody gathers there. Well, one of the interesting things that took place is that the Levites had a special responsibility regarding music and the service of song. So David put in charge of the service of song um, various people from the Levites, and they ministered with song. This is tremendous, really, actually, to see these Levitical choirs that are there. Um, so Aaron and his sons, yes, the priestly group, they made offerings on the altar, of burnt offering on the altar of incense. That was another thing. It wasn't just animals that were sacrificed. There was also the burning of incense that was symbolic of the prayers of God's people going up uh, to the Lord in the heavenly sanctuary. So they were there right in the center of making atonement for the people of Israel. Great privilege, really. Uh, but it's not the final story. Let's just talk about one of the things that the Levites did. It's mentioned here. They had these cities of refuge that in, that in particular, they had a special role in the cities of refuge where you, you could run. Uh, if, if you were accused of murder, you could be run and try and make the case that it was manslaughter rather than murder. Uh, you see, we have refuge in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now, we flee to him, and we find uh, aid for us in our guilt and shame, and, and uh, we find security for our future. Now, here's the thing. Uh, we have a priesthood, too, now, but it's, it's not the Levitical priesthood. The Levites, that, that was a temporary arrangement for a time that would one day find its fulfillment in the cross of Christ and his death as a sacrifice for us. But now we have a whole new priesthood 
after the order of Melchizedek, not according to the order of Levi, but instead one uh, who is from of old. Now, there's more that could be said about this in the rest of the Bible. We'll leave that for its appropriate point. But I just want you to see here that now we are called the priesthood of all believers as we worship God. We offer up our bodies as living sacrifices to God, holy and acceptable to him. Why? Because of Jesus and his sacrifice for us. Father, we just give ourselves to you today. We belong to you. We're privileged, Lord, to come to you and worship, to sing to you, to praise your name, and to find refuge in your Son. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings, friends.